An American philosopher, logician, mathematician, and scientist, known as the father of pragmatism, Charles Sanders Pierce, born on 10 September 1839 in Massachusetts in the United States of America, died on 19 April 1940 in Pennsylvania in the United States of America, said, We do not really think. We are barely conscious until something goes wrong. It was a shocking revelation from a philosopher, the father of pragmatism. He must have researched to temper the existing philosophies culture. Otherwise, this statement could not happen. Can you believe? We do not really think. People are not thinking. They have become followers. They are not seekers. Never ever become a follower. The moment you become a follower, you are equal to dead. Dead men tell no tales. Be a seeker. And Charles Sandu Pierce understood people are not thinking. Then what are they thinking? Rubbish. Dustbin culture. Gumisan. In Japan, after the man retires, the women gives them a name said Gumisan. Gumisan means dustbin. <laughs> now, here, much before their dustbin, nobody is thinking. They can't think. A thinking means it's kaisa. A thinking means you can find every one day there is one new philosophy, one new scientific experiment has been cleared. Every one day you find the penetrating effect of your thoughts dragging the physical body to the extremes of power and then you can find the body the last drop of your talent has been squeezed out and you can see a new fresh energy of talent is building up when your last drop of talent is not squeezed out you fall sick and your family loses the prophet exactly what the great great Zen master of India Lalu Prasad Yadav said when the railways was running on a massive loss he made it one of the most profitable railways in a very short time he said he has got HF cows and he said if you don't remove the last drop of milk from the udder of the chef cow, the cow will fall sick and you will lose the profit. If you remove the last drop of milk, the cow will be healthy. You make the profit. The human mind, the body is such instead, the whole world has taught the children. They educate the children. Oh, him say kurti do, him say kurti do, him say kurti rapa, him say kurti rapa. They are torturing me. They are torturing me. They are as if it is the greatest philosophy, greatest gospel of truth these children have ever learned. They can't take a little bit of pain. No pain, no gain. Charles Sandra Pierce said, we do not really think. Thinking stopped. All the psychologists said, Everybody stopped going after the age of 12. And they are walking like dead bodies. But here, even before that also, thinking stopped because everything has been spoon, spoon fed. So they do not have to think. They are living like zoo animals. 
Charles Sanders Pierce said, we do not really think. We are badly conscious. Yes, it is like the allopathy hospital screening. I see you means I can see all your money. Give back means intensive care unit. Put you in the intensive care unit. You are barely conscious in intensive care unit. Your both legs are tight, hands are tight. And everywhere they put tube into your gundi pindi everywhere. And you are happy, shameless. They create every bloody thing possible. And you just lie down. And the machines will run to tell whether you are barely dead or alive. We are barely conscious. Until something goes wrong. When something goes wrong, when the floods are eating up your house and the flood waters entered the house, then you start screaming at all the politicians, everybody is wrong, except you when you are pointing your finger to somebody, think three fingers are pointing at you, but it is too late. Nobody in the world can save you. Much before the rains, if you looked at the rain, you know what time the rain comes, you know what time your salary comes. That is 100%. You know what time your toilet comes. You know what time your hunger comes. But the rain, you have not created the rainwater to have a beautiful pond house which can create the groundwater regenerating groundwater touched. So that in summer also get water. When you don't do that, the floods destroy you. And you are screaming, the roads are gone. This is gone. Everybody has gone. You not only you, when the leaders, the political leaders, even the business community, everybody is badly conscious. They are all unconscious. In their unconscious state, you are blabbering something. And that blabbering you are thinking is your vision and mission. Which comes in the dreams is not your vision and mission. What the ex-president Abdul Kalam said and everybody think he was a great Maharishi. No, no, no. Many people are taking you for a ride. No mission and vision in your stupid dreams. Come out of your dreams on your unconscious state. You don't have to have mission and vision. Go into your field. Sweat it out. When blood cuts your, when, when something cuts your lips and blood spills out, you will not rush up to the doctor, but a sweating man will here, ah, he will suck the blood and he can continue to do. No pain, no gain. That was the beauty. Charles Sander Pierce said, we do not really think to think you don't need degrees. Degrees are teaching you that you need respect. No, you need love. For that love, you have to undress yourself. When you come back from the office, totally mind in the body and sit next to your wife and your children. Just sit, nothing you have to do. From there you can see you becoming conscious that they are alive and you are alive. You first time you felt, oh, really certain things are waking up. And then you know, the field smell, taste, touch and see. When you start thinking, plan, organize, direct, control, execute. Oh, all of five stages. Until something goes wrong, you don't have to wait for something. Nothing goes wrong if you are conscious. When you are unconscious, everything goes wrong. And only tears and hospitals. Hospitals will take you to ICU so that you don't have to be conscious. Come out of that. Together we can be strong. We are strong. To be strong, go to your family. Connect to your joint family and to the family tree. Together we can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger.